So x contributes 0 to omega of r, uh, where r is greater than t. So uh, that's the count that x contributes to RHS is given by so let us uh, find the total count on RHS so let me call it as lambda okay upon uh, omega of uh, m miller where in the counter tc m then minus you have m plus 1 c m in omega of m plus 1 it will be counted t c m plus 1 then uh, you have m plus 2 c m t m plus 2 uh, so on so minus etc plus ni last year in the t larry can eat on last count here so minus 1 raised to t minus m q in the place t verum so uh, it will be counted okay, uh, okay. t c m q c m r and t c m verum so uh, it will be counted t c t times in omega of t so uh, this is equal to okay so that is the value of lambda in the uh, number already can do on the uh, left side it contributes zero so uh, we need to show that uh, lambda is equal to zero uh, then uh, that will complete our uh, proof okay uh, now uh, let me okay so that is what we need to prove so it remains to show that the value of lambda is equal to zero and now uh, if you look at uh, the product nck into uh, kc r okay. so that let me uh, rewrite this okay. so lambda can be written as tcm minus so uh, this can be second term is tc a product where it is so tcm into m plus 1 cm plus t m plus 2 into m plus 2 cm minus etc plus minus 1 whole raised to t minus m tc t into tc m so lambda can be written in this form now let us uh, look at the what is the value of this combination so uh, we have nck into kcr so normally in the product r formula they would have for a value on it so you have m plus 1 here under and m plus 2 under and t okay so um, nck into kcr that will be equal to n factorial by k factorial into n minus k factorial then k factorial by r factorial k minus r factorial so uh, this can be written as upper k factorial uh, cancel out so this will be equal to n factorial uh, by n minus k factorial k minus r factorial so now we can write it as n factorial now multiply and uh, divide by n minus r factorial so you have uh, sorry here you have r factorial also so n minus r factorial would be multiplied. So n minus r factorial, r factorial, n minus k factorial, k minus r factorial. So this can be written as per uh, 
this can be written as ncr n factorial by n minus r r factorial is not even ncr varum and <coughs> this will be n minus r c uh, the difference is this two okay this will be k minus r namak edukumba n minus r factorial by k minus r factorial then the difference is n minus k so nck into kcr can be uh, put in the form ncr uh, n minus r k minus r so let us uh, use this so we had lambda equal to uh, tcm Minus t m plus one c m plus one m plus t m plus two into m plus two c m plus etc plus minus one all raised to t minus m t c t t c m varum. Okay. Now we are using this property m c k. KCR that is equal to NCR N minus R K minus R. So therefore, now lambda will be equal to first term will remain the same TC M minus uh, now you will get TC M into the uh, NCR the TC M varum. Uh, now you will get n minus r from t minus m and k minus r will be equal to 1. Then plus uh, tc n varum then uh, n minus r so n minus r will be T minus M C two varium plus etc uh, plus minus one whole raised to T minus M and last term you will get as uh, T C M T minus M C T minus M varium. So therefore T C M is common in all the terms. So you will get 1 minus T minus M C1 plus T minus M C2 minus term T minus M C3 plus etc plus minus 1 whole raise to T minus M into T minus M T minus M. Now this is in the form of binomial. Uh, expansion okay so that will be equal to tc m into 1 minus 1 whole raise to it is in the form x plus y whole raise to uh, t plus m where x is 1 and y is uh, equal to minus 1 so you will get 1 minus 1 uh, raised to t minus m so, which is equal to 0. So, therefore, lambda is equal to 0. So, therefore, uh, x contributes 0 to r. So, times the cube. So, on left side and right side, x contributes 0. So, the proof holds in all the three cases. So, the equation holds in all the three cases. So, that gives the proof for the generalized principle of evolution and explanation.